uh, that's our uh, that's our one for our commentary. Let's go back to uh, let's go back to Logos, and we're going to go to this next tab. And what I've got here uh, again, this is something that I have on both programs, and this is the one volume edition of Kittle's Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, sometimes called the Little Kittle. And so I've got this text highlighted, and I'm going to uh, right click here. I'm going to choose copy. And now I'm going to switch over to uh, Word, and let's go to the document I've got set up for that. So uh, one, one thing you'll notice, let me go back here. For, let me give you some context. I'm, I'm in the article. Uh, whoops. Uh, here we go. I'm in the article on uh, agapao, agape, agape, uh, agapetos. And so uh, basically, uh, here's the article. It's written by, uh, I think that's Ernst Stauffer. And so we're gonna we're gonna take that we've copied it and we're gonna go over here to Word and we're gonna we're gonna paste that in. Uh, let me go to my Agape uh, blank document that I've got open. And so I paste that in. It gives it the footnote. And uh, let me uh, just go over to accordance without any commentary yet, uh, because really what we're gonna see is neither one of these do these quite correct. And so I'm gonna go this time to accordance. Same content. And uh, I'm going to choose copy as citation. And then I'm going to switch back to, to Word. And I'm going to paste this in here as well. Now, one thing that's interesting, when I was, when I was kind of giving a run through this, I noticed that this is interesting that this gives uh, uh, a capital letter here in Eros, which I thought was really interesting that it put this capital E uh, as opposed to the lowercase e. And if you go back to... Uh, this the original text it is lowercase here so I don't know why it's doing this uh, quite like that that's something that probably uh, is a bug in the new program and they'll want to, to work that out uh, but let me go back here and let's kind of compare these notice that these are very different uh, uh, ways to cite this um, the, this the way that accordance is citing this I don't know if I uh, completely agree with this uh, this is being cited uh, as a reference work. Now, there, this is a legitimate way to cite things. If you look in the Turabian Guide at 17.5.3, you see a section for, for reference works, and it's treating it as that. Uh, the same kind of uh, way you would cite something like the Encyclopedia Britannica. The problem in my mind with both of these solutions, and I, th I feel like they're both wrong, is that uh, this is an actual article. Uh, in, uh, you know, we can go back here. This is an article written by uh, Ernst Stauffer, and uh, really you're supposed to cite by the, uh, by the actual author. So let's go back here and let's go to my one that's already prepared. And uh, this, is, this is my solution for what I did here. I, I have uh, E. Stauffer. Uh, again, you have the, the title of the actual article, of the actual section. See, that's missing completely here from the Logos entry. And, but the, the author's name is missing from the Accordance entry. And then you say in Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, and uh, citing the meaning that that is an article within that volume. And then you have the publication data and the page number. And, and Accordance didn't even put the publication data in here, which uh, really you do need. And so that's, uh, that's uh, a kind of reference work. And so I think probably both of these programs uh, need a little bit of work in that area. Let's go to our last comparison here. We'll look at um, we'll look at this third tab, and this is a journal article. And so here's uh, this is out of the Trinity Journal, interpreting Old Testament prophetic literature in Matthew, double fulfillment by Craig Blomberg. This is from volume 23, number one, page 17. And so I've got this text, and I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to choose copy. I'm going to go back to Word. Let's go to my document that I have prepared for this. And I'm going to choose Paste. Puts the sentence in here with a footnote. And uh, you notice down here um, uh, that it's citing it by Trinity Evangelical Divinity School, which, of course, is really the, the, uh, the publisher of the journal, Volume 23, Trinity Journal, Volume 23. It kind of repeats that. Uh, one, Trinity Evangelical Divinity School, 2002. R really, honestly, this is a mess. Uh, that is, it's really not correct at all. Now I'm going to switch over to Accordance, go to uh, the exact same document. I've got the exact same information highlighted. I'm going to right-click on that, choose Copy as Citation, 
and then uh, head back to our Word document and uh, I'm going to choose paste and when we look at this this is uh, this is better now one thing that is missing is the author and if you read the uh, the blog post on the accordance blog yesterday they mentioned the fact that uh, they they haven't worked in yet how to include the author in these um, in these bibliograph bibliographic citations but it's something that they are aware of and they realize that you as the user can go in here and, and put in a uh, an actual name and so let let me show you the document that I've already created uh, we'll go here and uh, if you look here down at the bottom this is the way it should be uh, here's Craig Blomberg's uh, you include the name of course you include the author here is the uh, the title of the article uh, Trinity Journal 23 number one spring 2002 17 so everything is correct here in the accordance uh, version of this with the exception of the missing author uh, this is this really needs to be fixed in Logos because this isn't even near uh, right it doesn't contain the article title it doesn't contain the name of the author at all it does get the uh, the volume number and of course the the page number right on both of them and so uh, this is uh, you know this is uh, something that's important for academic research and, and at the same time uh, for a lot of people writing in academic research you won't uh, actually uh, use this function anyway if you're using something like bookends or uh, Cinti or uh, even the, the bibliographic uh, citation manager in Microsoft Word you can actually uh, you can actually use that instead but uh, this will be helpful uh, for a lot of folks who aren't using those kinds of uh, sources in their work